It's alive! It's alive! Oh, mm. this is delicious! Welcome to, to the, the So-and-So so Show! You're probably wondering what in the world are all these cables for. And you'd have every right to wonder that. <laughs> well, we are wired, hooked up, and connected to our own power grid. After looking at last month's power bill, John decided to take the studio offline. Oh, you bet I did. Brandon and I are plenty capable of making enough of our own energy to run the show. So... Check, 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 check. Is that working now? I, yes, okay. I believe that we are up and running. Our sound is back on. Yeah, sorry about that. Like we were saying earlier, the entire show will now be run on kinetic energy. So every now and then we'll just have to rev it back up. Okay, that should last us for the rest of the show. I hope so. Yeah. If it doesn't, I might have to brush up on my mime skills. Uh. Now what's wrong? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, it's the camera's batteries. All right, I just need to do a little quick recharge here, ready? You know, I was right in the middle of being trapped in a box. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry, it was, it was really good and, and uh, wow, look at you, you got out. That's not the point. The point is this power thing is, is, is messing up the show. You're right, you're right. It's terrible timing, but we should be good now, you can, Finish your performance thing. No, I'll just, I'm done, okay? No more miming. Oh. We're good now. <laughs> Shouldn't be any more problems. No more problems, huh? Well, I guess we don't need lights. Oh, oh, is that what you think? No, we need no, it's lights. it's not what I think, it's what I, I don't see. You know, I, you know I, I thought you might be a little more under, oh, uh, a little more understanding when it comes to saving money. I like saving money, but when you can't hear the show, yeah. and you can't see the show, guess what? What? There's no show. <sighs> okay, okay, hold on. Uh, okay, my, all right, here we go. Ready? One, um, two, three. You know, I, I thought you were fine with this whole kinetic energy thing. I was, but how are we supposed to do a show when we keep having to stop and charge everything? Oh, we? I haven't seen you helping. What do you think I'm doing right now? I don't know, I can't see I'm you. I'm pedaling. Well, good for you. And you know what? What? It's bottle story time with Kelly. Fine, fine. Hey guys. Hey. Hey. Ooh, I'm sensing a little tension. I don't know what would give you that idea. Me either. Mm, just a hunch. 
Well, today's Bible story may be something you'll find interesting and hopefully helpful. Sure. Why not? Great. Oh, um, does that bike power my lights as well? Does it, John? Just keep pedaling. Perfect. Perfect. Today's Bible story is actually just one verse from the book of Romans, which was a letter written by the Apostle Paul to the church in Rome. The letter was intended to provide direction, encouragement, and guidance to the community of believers. And I think Paul was trying to do all three of those things when he wrote this. If possible, live in peace with everyone. Do that as much as you can. Live in peace with everyone? Whoa! Easy for Paul to say, but then again, Paul had been thrown into jail multiple times for just talking about Jesus. And he was writing to people who could have been killed just for following Jesus. They were definitely living in a time that was not peaceful. So Paul wrote this letter to them. Even though people may be persecuting you, try as much as you can to live peacefully with them. Maybe that looks something like, Do you like my new nails? I just did them. Um, they're pink. Precociously pink. It's a new color. Do you like it, Ralph? Looks purple to me. Hey, isn't that your little brother? Oh, yeah. Give it to me. No! I want to turn! When I'm done! I want it now! Get off me! I'm still riding it! You're not going to ride it anywhere! I would do something, but my nails... I got it. Get off me! I'm out of here! Oh, no, you're not! Hank, Sally, you guys can't fight your best friends. Now tell me what happened. Sally started it. Hank won't share. She's not waiting her turn. He's a tricycle hog. You both have to share. Look, there's a way you can both have a turn at the same time. Right, right, Sally. You pedal, and, and Hank, you ride on the back. And, and when you get to the end of the road, you switch. Sounds good to me. Okay. Well, I guess this isn't too bad. It's like I'm on a chariot. Hey, good job, Peacemaker Ralph. You'll be president someday. Well, I'd rather be a YouTube star. Hey, what's that? Can we come back to talking about my nails? I want to ride on the chariot now. Okay, it's pretty fun. Hang on, let me turn around. Ah! Hi ho, Silver! Away! Ralph was a good peacemaker. He saw two friends in trouble, and he helped them work it out. And because he stepped in. Sally and Hank realized how much fun they have together. Peace really is a powerful thing. Okay, let's do one more. Sometimes when you're trying to work through conflict, you need to look at it from a different angle. And that's what these people did. Welcome to Dance Battle, where enemies dance out their differences. First up, the powerful Pexter. I'm Powerful Pexter, and I'm here to say my dance moves will make you pay. I may not be the biggest or the best, but my unstoppable flow is better than the rest. Watch me! The Powerful Pexter thinks he's got the gravy, but I wash him away just like the wavy. I miss the wave, and my moves are like title. I'll wipe you out just like a recital. I'm Glide Master. I spin. Sometimes, when people have a conflict, whoop, they dance out their problems. Maybe not often, and maybe we all can't do that, but we can look for things that we have in common and start from there. Remember, Paul wrote, if possible, live in peace with everyone. Do that as much as you can. Wow, I never knew making peace with someone could be so fun. That's what's so incredible about peace. There are so many ways we can show each other we care. You see, peace helps you stay connected, which is way more important than winning an argument. Hey, thanks. I, I think we needed that encouragement, or, or at least I did. No, me too. And uh, I'm sorry I made you do all these things just so I could save a few dollars. No, I'm sorry. I, I should have been more understanding. Hmm. Peace. Peace. Well, I think my job is done here. Hey, thanks for helping us stay connected. You bet. And thank you for keeping me connected to power. No problem. Until next time, see ya. Hey, by the way, how much money are we saving by doing this? Oh, a lot. Oh, good. Six dollars. Uh, uh. Oh.
Reveal the question. Oh, uh, why is it important to make peace? Yeah, because when you don't have peace, you're just not happy. Yeah, and you can miss out on things that are really important, like friendship. Yeah, in a good tricycle ride. <laughs> True. <laughs> hey, talk about it together. Why is it important to make peace? And we'll see you next time for a brand new show. Are you still pedaling? No. Oh. <sighs> <laughs>